Hey, hey, it's Monday. I hope you've had a fantastic weekend and you're getting your day started on the right note. If you are catching the replay, drop a CTR down in the comments. Let me know you are catching the replay. That's what CTR stands for. And then make sure you drop a, a little location notification to share where you're from, where you're watching from in the world. It's kind of nice to keep track of where everybody's popping on from. And if you're new to watching any of these videos from me, welcome. I'm Kelly Greeno. Yes, it looks like Greg Nunn. I am the creator and founder of kellygreeno.com where I transform the overwhelmed, overstressed mom business owner into the woman that is confident, passionate, and abundant in her life, creating the influence that she desires in herself, her family, and others in this world. And today I want to talk about uh, this switch that you can flip to create a life of abundance. And I talked in our Facebook group, the hashtag not just mom Facebook group. If you're not already in there, you can search the hashtag uh, not just mom up in the search bar and join us over there if you are a woman. Sorry, fellas, it's just for women right now. Um, <clears throat> and I talked this morning about the belief, the importance of knowing that you choose your beliefs and that this is a switch that you can flip on your own, that... Um, by becoming aware of the fact that what you're experiencing externally is a direct reflection of what's going on internally. So if you're experiencing a lot of stress, a lot of struggle in your life, it's because you believe that's how it's supposed to be for you. You believe that's what you're worthy of. You believe that's what you can have. That's what you believe how it has to work out for you is that it needs to be stressful. It has to be hard. It has to be difficult or whatever it is that you're choosing to experience. And the way to overcome that is to become aware of this concept, right? That's the switch you need to flip. You need to become aware of it, turn it on so that you can then choose which beliefs you uh, want to actually have in your life. You can rework your framework. Um, so today, actually on this video, I want to talk about a second, uh, switch that needs to be flipped. And I became aware of this when I was having a conversation with my husband last night about actually, I guess it was last night and this morning. Um, we were talking about how our life has changed dramatically and how we just don't feel the same worries, the same stresses, the same fears that we used to, um, when it came to money, when it comes to expenses, when it comes to lifestyle, um, you know, bills and, and like all those things in our life. We don't feel the same way anymore. And it's very different. And I kind of was trying to figure out through this conversation with Andrew about like, well, what is it that really, what really changed? Like, what is it that actually makes us feel like we're so different, right? That, that what made it possible for us. So not just flipping that switch and understanding I'm the creator of the beliefs that I have and I get to choose uh, you know, what I believe and how things turn out. And if I want it to be easy, I can let it be flow and easy and fun and growth and all those things, or I can make it hard and difficult and take forever. Right. Um, it's the beliefs that you have. And I was asking him like, okay, well, what, what else though? What's like the layer under that, that allowed us to really transform from that place of worry of stress of like just enough and, and the arguments and the circles and like the plateaus and this cycle of like wanting to be successful and not getting there to this place where we are now, how did that happen? And um, I kind of looked at him and I was like, it's faith. And he was like, well, like, what do you mean? I'm like, it's how, like, you can't create a life of abundance if you don't grow your faith. And faith is understanding, certainty, and knowing. And what I'm talking about is being aware of the fact that you have been promised abundance and you are always supported and provided for by the universe and you are always trying to be given abundance and good things and the things that you desire and we are the ones that are blocking it from us and that God will always provide for you. And if you are a person of any type of faith, like that's the, the foundation of what your faith is, what, right? what you believe, that you are provided for, you are protected, you have a, a life of abundance that has been promised to you. Um, you could go so far as to believe that um, in the Bible, I know it says that, you know, if you um, ask and you shall be given, even before you asked, you have already been given. Um, and if you are a person of faith, a person of spirituality, and you believe in those things, do you actually believe in those things? Like, do you actually have faith in those things with certainty, like 100% zero doubt that you are always provided for? You will always be guided. You will always get what you asked for. You are already been given what you've asked for. Do you actually have faith in those things? And when you have true unwavering faith in that, that's when your life changes because you start taking action and relaxing into what you have been promised and you're allowing yourself to receive it. So often we talk about, I have, I believe this, but I'm just not sure I have doubts. It's like you're doubting 
God, your doubting universe, higher power, source energy. Okay, whichever terminology you choose, right? Why do you doubt that? And why do, not only do you doubt in what he has said and what he's promised you and what's available to you, but why do you doubt in what he created you for? Why do you doubt in your ability to actually live the life that he has promised you? So this switch that you need to flip is in your faith. The unwavering, unshakable faith that you are always provided for, that your desires are meant for you, that their dreams are yours, that they're yours for a reason, that you have a purpose and a calling, that you are meant for so much more. And when you start to believe those things with complete certainty, it becomes your identity. And that's when your life changes. That's when the switch flips and you start to live this life of abundance, not just being rich with money, but wealth in general, with happiness, with joy, with passion, with confidence, with excitement, with um, support and being desired and in every single area of your life. You cannot have a life of abundance and if you don't grow in your faith. That's how this happens. Your faith has to grow in the process. If it, and if you're not growing in that faith, and it's not just like understanding the Bible or knowing that there is a God and believing in a higher power. It's actually understanding and knowing what faith really is and what that means for you in this life and what you're creating for yourself and diving under the superficial surface level of things and diving deeper, which is exactly what I talked about in the Not Just Mom group today about getting deeper into what do you believe? You know, your, your physical reality is a direct reflection of what's going on internally for you. It is showing you what you believe. So it's like they go hand in hand, right? So that's the switch that you need to flip, that you need to start understanding and grasping and working on is your faith. And the only way to do that is to put it into practice. That means saying yes to ideas that you have, to opportunities that are being presented for you, trusting that they have been brought to you because you have been asking for them. And if you've been asking for them, then there's always a way for you to have them. Whether it's money, time, opportunities, connections, skills, you will always be provided and given those things that you need to pursue the life that you're asking for. Developing the faith comes from saying yes, comes from taking action, comes from showing up and going, stretching yourself beyond what you can humanly do. You're not meant to know all the answers or know how something works out, works out. It's not up to you. If you feel like you have to know how to do all of these things that you want to create in your life, you're going to stay right where you are. This is not up to you. This is up to God and the universe and the higher power to take you along that journey. And your job is to follow the inspiration and the ideas that you get with faith with complete faith. But in order to do that, one of the biggest things I see that trips people up is that we get too much in our head. We go too logical, we start to explain things, we talk ourselves out of things all the time instead of trusting in faith with what our intuition is telling us. We doubt ourselves, we doubt our God, we doubt in what's possible for us and we don't think we know how and we start talking ourselves out of it with all these logical, uh, convincing things and that's why you stay exactly where you are. So if you want to start changing your life, you have to take that leap of faith. There's a reason why that saying exists. You need to start saying yes to the things that are being brought into your path, saying yes to the desires that you have, no matter how simple or big. If you want to buy the sparkling water instead of the regular water in the bottle, buy the sparkling water. If you want the new pillows for your couch, go buy the new pillows. If you want that pair of earrings, go get the new earrings. If you want to go for a walk, go for a walk. Take turn right instead of left. All of these things are your ability to stay in tune with your intuition and connected to the divine, building your faith every step of the way so that you can start taking bigger and bigger leaps of faith and knowing and trusting with certainty that you are always provided for. It's when we doubt it. It's when we get fearful of it that we start to create all this drama and these problems. Faith is the core of how you create your life of abundance. It's what you've been promised anyways. So I hope this gives you a little bit of a different perspective. If it resonates with you, make sure you comment below. Let me know. Go feel free to share it as well. And I'm going to send you guys on your way to have a fantastic rest of your Monday. Set some good intentions for the week. Go through this week with purpose, with intention and focus and excellence and really work towards the dreams and desires that you have. It does not take 
uh, months or years to achieve what you desire. It truly doesn't. It comes down to what you believe is possible for you and if you're willing to get the support and guidance that you need. So I have a few private coaching spots that are open if you're interested in those and our Break Up With Normal four-month group mentorship program did just launch. So message me if you're interested in getting any type of support and guidance related to creating your confidence, passionate, and abundant life. And I will talk to you guys soon. Be fierce and embrace your truth. See ya.